We got action. We got action. Cameron Mace off top. Congratulations. Now, this is according to the source. Source mag. Man. <laughs> Cameron and Mace with the edited. I can't get it out. I'm happy for these brothers. On a It Is What It Is sports talk show has signed an eight-figure deal with Underdog Fantasy. Wow. The power of putting in your work. Now, this should be motivation, son. Let's just talk about it. This should be motivation. Now, now we've seen how quick the, the talk show had took off. Now, I ain't even caught that many episodes, but it definitely was needed. A sports talk show where people can talk and cuss and just speak on, you know, from a hip hop perspective, you know, everything turns to hip hop anyway. All the way back to Stuart Scott, rest in peace Stuart Scott from ESPN with the whole hip hop talk. It was bound to come. I mean, I don't know how much gonna change with the show by them cutting this deal. It's a couple of things to uncover, though. But first, I just want to just spread the word and just congratulate these brothers, which we should. So, eight-figure deal, that's that's at least $10 million. I mean, we ain't pocket-watching or pocket-counting, but if they let it be known that they didn't sign for eight figures, that's at least 10 and it could be more, you know, just because I'm throwing a 10 on it, that's what make it eight figures because it's a one. But it could be more than that. And so this is this is good. This is big news and good news for hip hop and just good news for the culture, period. So this is according to the source. This one I'm just reading. They say, okay, it's under the Giles Come Talk to Me Network. Giles. It is what it is, show. The first season is set to jump off the first week of September. So we got a couple, you know, they got a couple of things. So I guess it's going to run during sports season, which is smart. So while football is running and basketball, because those are the main two sports, especially for our culture. Oh, yeah, that's perfect timing. That's perfect timing. So they can get in all their giggles and talk their shit. We, we, we needed this. Anyway, because it's raw, you can cuss. And like I say, I ain't caught too many episodes. But by them getting this deal, we're going to see how it all plays out. And I'm wondering, okay, because I haven't even heard of Underdog Fantasy. I, I don't play too many fantasy. Well, I don't play none of them at all. I don't gamble online. So I take it as the fantasy, the fantasy uh, betting, sports betting. Kind of like how Barstool is with a million dollars worth of game. I know it's kind of too soon for me to just be throwing, you know, throwing their name in there. Because this is, this is Cameron and Major time to shine. We all know Gillian Wallow got that bag from Barstool. I'm, par- I'm proud of all these brothers and all of these different entities and podcasts and people from our culture that then, I wouldn't even say crossed over, but they didn't made the corporate world cross over to hip hop and just down to earth sports talk and just podcasting period. So these brothers out here getting that bag and getting their money by being themselves doing things that we do naturally. That's why I love it. They just talking shit and keeping it clear as day and keeping it and keeping it as raw as authentic as it can. So underdog fantasy, I'm taking it. Cause I don't know who the owners are, but I did read up that it's a partnership and they didn't sign. It's going to last for 18 months. So 18 months, that's what a year and a half for it, for a figure, for a figure deal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's good. So, so we got competition. I don't say we got competition because of the bar stool and million dollars worth of game deal. But this is opening the door for more people to to get deals because I'm pretty sure 
Well, I'm pretty sure Barstool, they didn't need him because they got Wallow, Wallow and Gilly with me not worth a game. But all the different people that was in talks watching the show, these boys can got a deal. That's what's up. Congratulations to them. We're going to see how it play out. Cameron Mace, the It Is What It Is podcast has signed the deal. So congratulations to these brothers. Now this is just goal to show you. Let me throw this motivation in there. Cause this definitely should be a motivation, an inspiring point for anybody out there that got a pod or got a dream or got something that they do or something that they working on. Keep working at that shit. You got the small YouTube channel, keep working. It'll turn big. These brothers went to the studio, got down. They probably did it just out of fun the first couple of times. But it caught wind and it caught some traction. Like I say, I haven't watched the episode, but I damn sure knew what it was. And I definitely saw that it was gaining steam, you know, through social media and just YouTube in general. So it definitely was in the feed and in the algorithm moving and pushing. And that's what you have to do. Just keep working. Your moment to come. I say it often in a couple of my poems and all that. And through this motivation, everybody going to get their moment. And it'd be so good to see because these be people who didn't have careers. That's why I'd be happy for people like Joe Budden, Gilly, all these people. I mean, when I say that they are part of the culture, you just never know where your biggest break is going to come from and when. Gilly didn't have the, the best stink in rap. Joe Budden didn't have the best stink in rap. I mean, Cameron and Mace, you know, they had their ups and downs, but they still, you know, was moving and grooving a little bit, maybe more than those two in music. But they know the variety can still just come from somewhere else. Just because you start in one bracket of your career, there's other things that you can do. And as you succeed, your legacy is your legacy. <laughs> But it is what it is. I, I just I just want to shout these brothers out. Spread the word. Even though they don't need my little clout. They ain't shit. I'm a small YouTuber. But my shit grow. I got motivated. This shit motivates me. <clears throat> and this shit motivates you to just keep doing what you're doing. And when your time come, that's when you can eat. You can move and groove also. And this just goes to show you that somebody is always watching. Somebody is always listening. You stay consistent in what you do and you keep fucking working, your time is gonna come. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I get with y'all in a minute though. Cameron and Mace signs a deal with Underdog Fantasy for the podcast. It is what it is. Get with y'all in a minute. Rap talk. <laughs>